everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, so in this video, uh, as promised, I'm going to be reviewing this book here called um, Slopes, a celebration of the world's most misunderstood mammal. Um, and the book's by William Hartston. You can see that. Um, and I'm reviewing it because uh, I got a request in one of my previous videos um, to review the book from one of you who um, um, likes slaves, so I thought I'd review it. Um, I actually got the book after I saw it um, in a bookshop, in a small independent bookshop in a town that I used to visit um, regularly in the days before Covid, when that was still possible, and um, it was on my list and I finally went ahead and bought it and it was an enjoyable read. Because um, I do quite like slaves, um, they sort of represent a um, peaceful, relaxing, um, arboreal existence, which, um, yes, is sort of worthy of imitation, you could say. Um, so, yeah, so I, I read the book and... Um, learned some interesting facts which I will now share with you. So, slo first of all, sloths are members of a superorder of placental mammals known as Xenarthra. Zen meaning strange and foreign, uh, you know, like I the word xenophobia. Arthra means joints, you know, think sort of like, you know, arthritis and things like that. It means, Arthra means joints. So, so it's a compound word made up of zen, strange, foreign, arthra, joints. So it literally means strange joints. And that's because the slope, the slope has, um, the joints in the slope's hip are very flexible. giving the sloth the flexibility to cling to branches with their legs and swivel its body around. So that's why, they, that's why they're given the name Xenarthra. Sloths are also members of the order Pilosa, which means hairy, and the suborder Folivora, Folivora, I think I'm pronouncing it right, um, which means leaf eater, and that's within the superorder Xenarthra. There are six species of sloth. The two-toed sloth. There are six. So there are six species of sloth. Um, I'll, I'll put that another way. There are two types of sloth: the two-toed sloth and the three-toed sloth. And and, the, and, and, the, and these types of sloth contain within them um, three species of sloth each. So a, a grand total, there's a grand total of six species of sloth. So to begin with, the two the two toed sloth, technically that's two fingered. It's a bit of a misnomer because um, the the toes, or technically fingers, are on their front legs. The two-toed sloth is divided into three species, and yeah, three. Sorry, say it again. Okay. Your two-toed sloth is divided into two species, and the three-toed sloth is divided into four species. So that that's yeah. So four four species in the three-toed sloth and two species for the two-toed sloth. The three-toed sloth includes a species called the pygmy variety. And the pygmy sloth is the smallest sloth of all, but it's also the least numerous. And also, by the way, the pygmy sloth is meant to be one of the most um, 
lazy or for lazy I should say in inverted commas because that's a bit of a misnomer as well slopes aren't really la lazy that's just a sort of anthropomorphic um, label uh, which isn't really accurate um, but the pygmy slope is the most shall we say the most laid back um, slope it's also the smallest until around 10,000 years ago, the sloth world was dominated by giant ground sloths in Central South America. And they just got bigger and bigger. The largest was the Megatherium, which was the size of an elephant. And this sloth did not hang upside down from the topmost branches. But other smaller species um, later on evolved and eventually they became, um, they turned into the sloths that we know and love today. The sloths took a hide strategy of survival rather than fighting or running away. So, they, so that's their main strategy of survival is to hide or to camouflage themselves by hanging in trees and moving only when necessary. And that was and uh, another um, interesting uh, aspect of their existence is that um, they they have a symbiotic relationship with um, algae because they let algae grow on their fur and this gives the slope a green appearance, um, helping them helping and helping to camouflage them. But most, um, their ancestors, as I just mentioned, were the megafauna, and they mostly disappeared within a very short space of time, as all sorts of giants became extinct, for example, mammoths, the mastodons, um, mastodons were a type of elephant. 90% of sloth species were wiped out, leaving only the small arboreal sloths. The giant ground sloths were vegetarian, um, they loved avocados, they actually swallowed avocados whole, and then excreted the stones, which helped to disperse the avocado seeds. Helping the avocado trees to grow across a large area. The two-toed sloths are bigger than the three-toed sloths. And they have very tidy hair. And they are nocturnal. They will bear their teeth and hiss and slash with their claws when disturbed and they drop their poo from trees or they come down to pee and leave it uncovered. They eat buds, leaves, fruit and even meat in, cap in captivity. Conversely, the three-toed sloths are smaller, they have scruffier hair, short tails, sleep at night, are docile and come down from their tree to poo and they cover it with leaves and they're very fussy with their food and only eat leaves. So that's, that's just a little bit of the difference between the two-toed and a three-toed like types of sloves. Sloves are largely sol solitary. Usually you'll find one slove to a tree, rarely two. And of course, sloves are named for the deadly sin, slove. Um, and um, we had the deadly sin of slove um, before that name got applied to the animal. Um, so, but then the animal, of course, became tainted by being named slove after the one of the deadly sins. Um, the word slough, which was originally spelled S-L-O-W-T-H, um, as in slow, like being slow, obviously originally meant slowness, and that was already known in Middle English. Another interesting fact, a little bit of toilet humour here, sloughs do not fart, Instead, they burp, um, and, that, and the name for that, burping, not farting, the name for that is eructation. It's just an interesting fact. <laughs> eructation. Um, yeah, as I mentioned previously, the pygmy sloth um, is one of the most laid-back of sloths. Um, and the pygmy sloths, they 
brain, brain waves are actually similar to humans, to humans who are addicted to Valium. Um, and that's largely because the red mangrove leaves that the pygmy sloth eats um, may contain a fungus with Valium-like properties that drug the sloths. So the pygmy sloth is the most laid-back sloth. of all of the slaves. Oh, and, and, and a good um, sloth, uh, how can I say it, a good sloth um, catchphrase, I guess you could call it, is I'm not lazy, I'm energy efficient. Because they're very slow digestion enables them to extract every bit of energy from their leaves. Because obviously the leaves are very hard to digest and they contain, don't contain much energy. So the slow, very slow digestion enables them to make maximum use out of what they're eating. And um, by being motionless at the top of the trees, that keeps them away from the ground level predators. And camouflage, and their camouflage with the, the green algae means that they are harder to detect by eagles. And hanging from branches requires less energy than being on top of them. So they're, they're actually very, very energy efficient. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy, enjoyed um, watching this video and I hope you enjoyed learning about all these interesting slow facts. So thank you for watching.